Hi, I'm Dr. Nies Goda. We're at the AZH Wound Clinic in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'd like to bring you another edition of Wound Care Window and take a look into the evaluation of subdermal tissues, especially in this case, traumatic potential hematomas um, using ultrasound in the wound care clinic. So this patient here, uh, she had a, uh, an area of uh, skin avulsion, as you will note, over the medial aspect of her right ankle. Uh, and she presented to the emergency department for that traumatic laceration. Uh, it was sutured in place, she tells me, using 40 uh, sutures, and she was then sent home. Uh, two weeks later, she went back to the emergency department with an infected wound. Uh, she has since been put on antibiotics. The sutures were removed at that point, and now today she presents to the wound care clinic for evaluation. Uh, her concerns are a couple, uh, persistent tenderness and erythema in the area, as you'll note around the tissue, this is still mo uh, moderately inflamed and red. Uh, she's actually wincing a little bit as I touch her, uh, and demonstrating the pain that's associated with this area. Uh, the other thing that you'll notice about this tissue is that this is a uh, necrotic part of the flaps. The question is, why is this necrotic? Why are we having problems? My suspicion here, not only from an infection standpoint, but from a tissue standpoint, is you'll notice that this flap is sort of heaped up, highly suspicious clinically for either a seroma or a hematoma or potentially an abscess sitting under that flap, raising it up against uh, the subcutaneous bed, causing decreased tissue perfusion and tissue ischemia resulting in necrosis of the flap. How do we evaluate this? Well, we can do it clinically and evaluate it from uh, perspective of just looking at the wound and evaluating. I can feel a little bit of fluctuance in this area. However, a better way is to use uh, ultrasound. And we're going to demonstrate that today. So we will take and put a little ultrasound gel. This is a uh, sterile gel. Put that on the wound. And then we will take uh, the ultrasound probe and actually image it. First thing I'm going to show you is what normal tissue looks like. So we're as you'll see who are outside the wound base. If you take a look at this image here, this is normal tissue. There is a blood vessel right there. We're getting some hypo uh, echogenic signals from this area, meaning that there's fluid in that area, fluid in the blood vessel. Here, the subcutaneous tissue, uh, potentially some muscle and fascia down lower, is all the normal appearance of tissue with an occasional blood vessel cursing through the tissue. Again, you notice the echogenic uh, changes of the tissue versus that which you see with fluid. Here again we see another blood vessel coursing through that tissue. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over the flap with uh, the ultrasound and move that probe slowly over the necrotic tissue. I'm going to not push down real hard. You're going to see that we get a lot of changes in the echogenicity. Here we have the regular tissue echogenic uh, markers but this again looks more consistent with fluid and this in fact is a seroma hematoma underneath that flap so as I suspected we have a pretty significant uh, area of fluid collection slash uh, hematoma underneath that flap if you look at the margins we'll look at it at a different angle here we have normal tissue as I come across that uh, suture line you'll see that suture line appearing right here and as again I come back over the flap, we'll again get into that area of ultrasonic uh, echoes consistent with fluid. And you'll see it's sort of loculated here actually, but certainly this is consistent with uh, a subdermal uh, abscess, seroma hematoma. Uh, hard to distinguish at this time. So this needs to be uh, taken care of and drained um, before we're going to have any healing here.